Dean Crosby was the cause of me joining the Screen Actors Guild. I worked with uh, Anthony Quinn, Robert Ryan, Greg McPay. I worked with a lot of uh, Gene Hackman. Uh, and uh, uh, that's how I became a uh, uh, movie star. Is so they, they say you're a movie star, but I <laughs> working in a picture, everybody does it, with Linda Donnell and Paul Douglas over in West Africa. So all of a sudden, the door opened, and here a big guy walks in there, big, beautiful looking guy, had a beautiful body, Woody, with Les Lear, the coach from Calvin. They had just won the Grey Cup in 48. But Woody had told him that I was the greatest tight end in the world. So he wanted to look at me. He said, Ooh, this guy. So they talked me in coming to Calgary. In between takes at the movie, making that picture. That's how I became a Stamp Peter. They wanted me to come up and join them for the 1949 season. My coach, Les Lear, with the Stampeders, he was a playing coach. We played Saskatchewan the last game to go. He jumped offside. Last minute, Jason, the last play, and he jumps offside. And we called him the Lord. We loved him, so we named him Lord Lear. We'd always call him Lord. And I walked up to him, I was the captain of the team, and I walked up to him and I says, oh, this year I'm playing with you for the first time in everything. I said, if you ever jump offside like that again, I'm going to choke you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he looked at me and he said, I'll never do it again, sugar. And, uh, and that sent us to Montreal, 1949. When we came back to Calgary, the population in Calgary in 1949 was 125,000 people. And when we came back, we lost the Great Cup, like I said, but 60,000 people. We had the train station. We traveled by train no day. You know, we couldn't afford an airplane, and then there wasn't that many airplanes traveling back and forth. We came back and faced 60,000 people at the station, which was unbelievable to me. It means so much to me. I, Got just in time, that song. They, they gave me that award, and I, my regret that my old man couldn't have been there to see me, was because he was he wanted me to, whatever I wanted to do, he wanted me to be the best.